Today, you'll learn AutoCAD best practices for working with attributes in blocks. Whether you are new or experienced AutoCAD user, I guarantee you'll learn something new. Plus, you'll have a new smart block to save you time. Let's get started. Hi, welcome to a new video on AutoCAD blocks that save time. What are attributes? An attribute is a label or tag that attaches data to a block. The following block shows a drawing title block with four attributes. Title, scale, drawing number, and sheet number. Because the tags were set up as attributes, a specific information about each instance could be added for each inserted block. Also, you can change multiple information at once, and you know this is not possible using normal text. So let's create your new drawing title block. To start, draw a 1 inch diameter circle. Then, Use AutoCAD line command to draw a 7 inches line. Add one more line and move it down. To add attribute, use AutoCAD ATT div command to specify an attribute definition. You'll see first attribute modes. Attribute modes control the behavior of attributes in blocks. For this specific example, you want to check only lock position attribute mode to lock the position of the attribute relative to the other objects in the block. When you define an attribute, you specify a tag. This is a unique and identifies the attribute by name. A prompt that can be displayed as the block is inserted. And finally, a default value that is used if a variable value is not entered at the prompt. First AutoCAD best practices. Make sure that attribute tags have unique names. Duplicate tags will cause problems when you use them in dynamic blocks. So your first attribute definition is drawing number with justification middle center to keep text center inside the circle. Finally, go ahead and use 316 text height. Why 316? Here comes AutoCAD best practices number two. Always follow CAD standards. You shouldn't select a text height at random. Different industries have lists of mandatory scale factors. The following is an example of architectural scales. If you draw a 7 feet tall door in AutoCAD, since these drawings get placed on sheets of paper that are much smaller, a scale factor is required, so that the final printed drawing can be measured. So go ahead and apply same procedure to define the other attributes.
Time to attach attributes to block. After you create one or more attribute definitions, you attach them to a block by including them in the selection set when you create that block. So let's do it. But before, AutoCAD best practices number two. Attribute prompts order. When you create an attribute block, always select attributes individually in the order you want them to display. Don't use crossing or window selection to select the attributes, since this will show attributes in a random order. Your attribute block is ready to be tested. My last AutoCAD best practices for you is, since you created your attribute block following CAD standards, you can easily scale your block based on your drawing scale. For instance, if you are using a drawing with 330 seconds scale, you can scale your drawing title block with a factor of 128. As you can see, your block on model and paper space have exactly the same size. Following standards is the difference between being a professional or not. The last trick I want to share with you is that you can open AutoCAD Block Editor and change uniform scaling to yes from property palette. This will save you steps scaling your block. If you are serious about saving time in AutoCAD, don't forget to grab your 5 automatic commands while they are still available. You grab them at the link below this video.